Hello YouTube, this is DIY Electronics and um, I'm going to be going over how to organize your parts. Um, we're going to specifically be talking about resistors today. Um, you may have a box sitting around with a bunch of bags of resistors or maybe you got them organized in drawers with little tags on the front telling you what they are. Um, well, I mean, either way, whatever works for you is great. But um, if the box works, okay. You know, you can stick them in there and label each bag 100k resistor and pop them in their slot and, you know, organize from 1k to 100k, whatever the case may be. Or you may want to separate them out and organize them by the third color band. Um, that works great too, because um, you only got to look for the first two. Um, and it only takes up a few drawers if you organize in three different sections. Or, if you really want to get technical and um, make everything a lot easier, um, you can simply um, get you a two inch binder or a three inch binder and label the side of it. This one's labeled resistors. Um, and then you get you some dividers and you can separate out your eighth watt and your um, or your eighth watt, your quarter watt, your half watt, your one watt, whatever the case may be. But um, what you do is you get some baseball card organizers, um, the little things you can buy at Kmart or Walmart and the baseball card aisle. And um, you go to your craft store and get some two and a half by three inch bags. Um, kind of hard to find. Um, I wonder why, but um, anyways, you you get a bunch of these and you label it that says one R or one ohm, and you can they easily slide into the little compartments. And well, not that one, but um, they easily slide down in there. And, for instance, mine goes from 0 ohms to 0 0.47 ohms to 1 ohm to 1.1 1 .1 ohm to 1.2 ohms, 1.3 ohms, 1 1.5, 1 1.6, 1 1.7, and it keeps going. And um, they're labeled all the way up until I get to my end, and it works great. Um, then I jump over here to my 1% quarter watt resistors, and I got them labeled too. And they fit nice and neat in there. Um, I haven't quite got all my resistors in here yet. Um, I just recently figured this out um, from a Google search and thought it was actually a pretty good damn idea. Um, also, not only could it organize your resistors, but say so you got a, a, a lot of um, transistors. Um, you put them in here and labeled, and no more searching through that drawer of transistors trying to figure out what's what. Uh, you simply flip through your pages, find the one you want, and pull it out. Um, I got my... Um, you can also put components. Um, LEDs, um, your photo transistors. Um, uh, you can also separate out your MOSFETs and all your bigger transistor, power transistors, um, your bridge rectifiers, um, ceramic capacitors, um, smaller electrolytic capacitors, I mean there's endless amounts of things you can do with these and they only take up this much space, this an inch and a half and a two inch binder and I can store all kinds of stuff or I could just get me a four inch binder and store all of it in one binder. Um, no more drawers, I mean the whole cost of this project roughly maybe eight bucks. You can buy the baseball card organizers for about four bucks for about thirty of them. Thirty times nine, so a whole lot more than drawers that you can get. Uh, hell, you can hardly get a cabinet um, with thirty drawers um, for under, you know, fifteen, twenty bucks for a cheap one. Um, the binders are two or three bucks, and the little bags are about two or three bucks for about a hundred of them. Um, it's a cheap way to organize. It's modular. You can change it. You can do a lot with it. And um, I hope this helps somebody out. Thanks.